Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Vasily Built for Speed here and today's video I just want to give you an update uh, on the Volvos uh, that we tuned with they were working with AFR tuning um, uh, trying to tune these Volvos and we're having a bit of issues so I just want to give you an update really quick so you guys don't think I'm just abandoning you guys and I don't want to make videos anymore uh, so this is gonna be an update video okay so I guess apparently these cars are not very easy to tune and anybody that tried to tune them they probably know that these have the denso ecu and there's no damos for it um we try to find damos everywhere a damos is pretty much uh explanation of ecu let me let me let me let me let me ask let me see what google says what exactly damos is so maybe maybe google will tell you a little bit easier so it says meaning <clears throat> it's a file that includes description of all maps in the super map pack uh so it's a one um, map pack or file that has descriptions of the whole file, pretty much the ECU file, the tune pretty much. Uh, for those of you guys that are not into tuning, it's a pretty much a description of your ECU, what's in your ECU controlling your car. It's a pretty much a file that most of the cars that get tuned that are really popular, they have demos. They have a file that with explanation of every uh, map pack or... Uh, how, how did how did Google say it? Uh, <clears throat> description of all maps uh, in your ECU. So it's a description. It describes uh, every map in your ECU that the, to to adjust the limiters and all that kind of good stuff. So, anyways, uh, we don't have any demos for this ECU. We got a few. Uh, there's a um, Pixel Nine, I think, is. Uh, Instagram is he tuned the uh, older like a 2011 version of the S66 and he has two damoses he for the same ECU just S80 and then the S66 but those damoses not even close to mine I guess there's a uh, uh, multiple versions so you can have the same ECU or just multiple file versions in the ECU so there's like 10 different versions of the tune uh, in these ECU, so you can have exactly identical ECU and let's say the 2013 Volvo that we have and 2014 the blue one the red one completely different ones so yeah it's kind of hard and uh, I've been contacting people asking tuners that tune Volvos that maybe they have the demos that would help us figure these cars out I mean the car runs it just doesn't boost it cuts out like the stage 2 runs good it's just it bounces off a limiter a bit so we need to drop the rev limiter um, I need to do minor things on the stage two stage two pretty much perfect but this one the stage three it's hitting some sort of limiter so it boosts up on, in the lower rpm good and then it starts cutting uh cut tcv cuts boost cuts throttle cuts so it's like in a mid-range and then top end it starts boosting again so it's a weird some sort of limiters of some of something is going on so we need a uh, pretty much a, da a damos to to kind of see what we can figure out why it's doing that what it's doing so Anyways, maybe you guys know somebody that tunes the P3s that can give me some info would be really appreciated. I mean, I'm not here acting like, you know, we're, we're masters of what we do. We always, I'm trying to learn things and with AFR tuning, he hasn't really tuned any Volvos and he just kind of being nice right now and just kind of, you know, helping me figure my car out. Um, so because i mean it's been standing for almost a year and hasn't been tuned but i mean he got it pretty much dialed in the afr like air and fuel ratio it runs good it doesn't run lean or rich it's just boosting issue that we're running in some sort of limiters cutting throttle cutting every chopping everything for some reason so that's the update on the volvos uh the blue volvo is pretty much done it's just minor tweaks but we're probably gonna as soon as we get a chance to go to drag strip we're gonna take it to drag strip and see what times we can run um maybe we'll hit the dyno with the blue one afr tuning stage two we'll see what we, we will get on the dyno with that car but the stage two is pretty much done it's just stage three that we're having a little issues with so that's going to be the update for this car sorry i couldn't give you guys anything nicer any nicer views i mean uh news but we're trying trust me we're trying afr is trying his best we're tr i'm trying and um to search and just message people see if we can find the demos for my ecu file and we haven't had any luck right now um so that's the where we are right now um as soon as we have any update trust me i will be making videos uh, i'll also be tuning with a different company like different cars i'll be making videos on that too but for the volvos as soon as we have an update trust me i'll, I'll be making all kinds of videos and the blue car will probably start probably sooner because the blue car is pretty much done it's just this red car that we need to figure out as soon as we get the demos 
we're set to go. We're probably gonna have enough information where we can actually tune the car properly and get it on the road ASAP, as soon as possible. So that's it for this video. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a lot. And um, if you guys have any ideas for videos while I'm waiting about this car uh, that you guys want me to make, you, you're you welcome to. I mean, <laughs> it probably it cannot include racing or it cannot include, you know, getting times you know like zero to 60 quarter miles no point right now because it's chopping boost but like anything about the car if you guys want to have any ideas that i should make a blue car or red car uh, i could you know comment comments below and i'll do my best maybe to make them i'll try my best to come up with ideas but you know it's kind of hard when the car is not running when the car is running i mean it's, there's a bunch of ideas we can go drag strip dyno and all other kinds of videos that we could make um so yeah again Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and as usual, see you next time.